Hello again everyone and welcome back to the mirror matches between myself and Messy Old Snake. Now you might notice Messy Old Snake's got a bit of a black outline style to his character, so you can use that to keep an eye on him really. You've got to keep an eye on good old Snake. And now you might be able to notice a blocked palm strike is pretty difficult for Goken to punish. He can do a light kick to punish it, but there's not much you can do after it. You can do a light punch palm maybe. You can't really combo off of his lighter normals very well. He's using a demon flip slide there. You don't need to stand up for any demon flips at all. Same with Akuma. Okay, so one of us is in the corner. Who is it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's me. I'm in the corner now. It was him. And so we're kind of just trying to keep each other in the corner. And now I'm back in the corner again. I punished it with a, a light kick. And then I went for a light kick demon flip grab. But Gokens don't usually stay around for demon flips very close. You need to get out of the demon flip pressure. And the best way to do that is jump back medium punch or jump back heavy kick. And that's punishable, but I just did a light kick. So that wasn't very good. But So neutral jumps are very good for Gokens. Uh, they allow you to get into a full combo pretty easily. And, you know, it's generally pretty good. You want a neutral jump quite often. There's not much Goku can do unless he's really close to you. Building some meter there. Both of us probably were. He started by zoning. After his cross up, he does a neutral jump and then a light kick, light punch palm. So, light kick, light punch palm is pretty decent uh, if you think the light kick is going to hit. Okay, I've got him in the corner now. And so I do a, a safe jump, even though you can't safe jump Goku. And now I'm going to put the pressure on him with my normals, FADC, dive kicks, and stuff. Uh, but in the end, I end up just FADC and grab because he was very patient with his blocking. That's what you need to be with Goku very patient. If you start spamming parry a lot, the Goken will realise it and punish you for it. The parries aren't used too much in Goken vs Goken matches it seems. Uh, we certainly haven't used it very often. So as you can see we always like to jump in, dive kick in is usually the way to get in or dash forward a lot. Again after a tech throw, standing medium kick, uh, he neutral jumps so it missed. Okay, he uh, misses hit confirm there, so he FADC'd out of it, that's pretty good. Okay, I had uh, momentum there, sort of. It didn't feel concrete enough, so obviously didn't take advantage of it. So now we're both just fireballing again. Uh, I get him with a jumping medium punch, so I go for my ultra 2. Okay, on the, what is it, third round now. And again, we do the exact same thing. Medium punch palm, and we taunt afterwards because we're both equally cool. Um, we obviously thought they were going to do a fireball. You can do a medium punch palm at the very beginning of a match if you're on point frame-wise and hit a fireball before it comes out. He thought I was in hit stun from the fireball, so he did his dungeon. Or he expected me to possibly FADC through it, because I've been doing that occasionally. So I punished him for it with an EX demon flip and full combo. And there we go. Uh, dive kicked him, which can still hit a neutral jump. And so when you're zoning with Goken against another Goken, you're trying to negate his fireballs with your fireballs. You're trying to anticipate jumps and uh, you want to get him into a false sense of security so you can do a demon flip and get a full damage combo or a palm strike to get momentum. But Gokens know this basically so they will not hopefully get lulled into a false sense of security. If they're a bad Goken then they might like to overly use uh, zoning and then you punish them for it a lot. Thank you for watching.